All right, so I'm going to show you how to open up a Cyber Power PC um, C series. Um, this one is a uh, model Tracer 315R. So first, what you want to do is remove the 18 screws from the bottom. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, right? Once you remove all those screws, you can start from either the SD card slot, don't go too far in because you can pull out the slot itself, or you can also go from the, the LAN port. So what you do is you kind of just pull it up and then kind of just slide your fingernail around. Um, this case shouldn't be too difficult to get out, but um, yeah, basically just go all the way around. And then once you go all the way around, you can actually lift it up just like this. Um, if you flip it over, um, you'll see there's not really many clips or anything that hold it. There's one, it looks like, on this side. So that goes into this the right side of when you flip it over. Um, so most likely when you lift it, if yours is stuck, you probably want to kind of lift from this side and then kind of just wiggle it and it'll come out. All right. So inside you can see there's an SSD, it's a NVMe M.2, alright, PCIe, alright, then you can see there's a connector here, so this board with the USB ports and the SD card slot is replaceable, it connects underneath the motherboard, then you got the connector here, I believe this is for a CMOS battery, um, I see another board actually underneath there, but yeah, that looks like a CMOS battery um, connector. Um, you can see the fan. All the ports on the back are, um, aren't are removable. There's the LCD connector. Um, if you're going to do anything with the connectors, you want to make sure to disconnect the battery first and then hold the power button for about 30 seconds just to drain any residual power and also make sure it's not, uh, not plugged in, of course. Okay, so the LCD connector. This one, like you would flip these up. Uh, I don't want to do it now since I'm not going to be messing with this stuff. Uh, but you can see... The RAM here. It's a 8 gig DDR4 2666. Um, but yeah, um, these kinds of connectors, the black part, you basically flip it up and it'll release these and you can pull them out. Um, basically, the same thing with this. You can see the black connector, you just flip it out. These, you just take the screw and then you can kind of wiggle them out. Then you can see the speaker here. Okay, and then the other speaker, the wire goes here and it plugs into this. Um, this, I believe, is the keyboard backlight cable. I think this is the trackpad cable, and this is most likely the keyboard cable itself, unless there's something that goes under. There's a slot here for a regular SATA, um, 2.5 inch SATA hard drive. Um, I think these are just for LEDs on the front. Yeah. Okay. And then you got, let's see here, there's an empty port here. I'm not sure why they have that. But there's another connector here if you want to remove this board for the Ethernet port and the USB and other audio jacks. Okay, and then the other fan. Um, and that's pretty much all you can do with this. Um, you can see all the fan connectors. Um, so this one, I didn't have to do anything with the board, so I'm not going to take it out. Um, I did have to remove the battery, that's why I opened the bottom, uh, because the screen was damaged. So for replacing this screen, um, basically you just open it up. Make sure you disconnect the battery and hold the power button first. But um, basically you'd have this bezel on it. This bezel is pretty easy to remove. You kind of just get your nail or something between this and then you kind of pry it forward and the clips will kind of um, release. Same thing all the way around, all the way to the top. So once you remove this piece, let's see here. Oh, I got caught on the thing down here. Okay, so once you remove the bezel, um, it's pretty simple. There's going to be four little um, sticky tab things that you can release, actually. The way you release these is you grab the sticky tab and you pull it out. Um, when this was, um, before I removed this, this tab was actually like kind of far in here. So to reach that, you'll either need some really small tweezers or you'll have to take the four screws out of here. So you can kind of pull the, the hinge out of the way, and then you can kind of grab it with the tweezers. Um, but yeah, basically to remove these, you want to pull like straight back. You don't want to pull sideways or twist it or anything. You just pull straight back, 
Um, try not to like let the adhesive overlap on itself because you can reuse the adhesive. Um, but basically you just do that, you pull all four, there's another two here, there's one here, it'll be caught underneath here, so you just gotta get that out. And then there's one more that's here, you'll need to like lift it with tweezers or a needle or something. But that's pretty much it, once you pull that out, um, the back of the thing, just like every other screen that you have to remove, it'll be kind of taped, the connector will be taped in place, and you just pull it straight out. So this connector will be pulled straight down but usually what you'll do is you'll lay the screen flat and then you can pull the connector out this way. Okay, and then just make sure to guide this wire um, because when you put it, it might, if it's sticking out, then the bezel won't stick on right. But that's pretty much it. So if you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment um, in the comment section below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. If this video helped you, um, please like and subscribe because that'll help me out. All right, thanks, bye.